It from Dorian isn't expected in South Florida, but it's still putting some people on edge. And tonight, some shelters have been open for those who need them most. Let's go to local 10 news reporter Janine Stanwood live now in Pompano Beach with that part of our team coverage tonight. Janine. You said it. We are in Pompano Beach. We're just south of the Pompano Beach Pier. It rained here about a half hour ago, but for the most part, we've just experienced wind and a smattering of wind gusts. As you know, there's no mandatory evacuation order here in Broward County, but three shelters are now open for people who might feel a little bit nervous, people who want to take shelter, maybe get away from the elements. And here in Pompano Beach, we actually saw some businesses. They decided to open too. Winds whipping as night falls in Pompano Beach. Some folks are out and about, and a handful of beach restaurants are open. Owners and chefs tell us they've been watching this forecast closely. I was very worried about my business, of course, uh, especially we have a hurricane category five. So uh, I wasn't sure what to do, but finally I decided I'm going to go for it and take the chance. I was worrying about this thing was going to hit us, but I was thinking like uh, hopefully it'll turn and that it did and hopefully it's going to go away, right? Earlier in Deerfield Beach, the waves were fierce. Against the advice of authorities, surfers were out in full force. Come over this way and I want to show you actually a lot of these condos. You can see they have their uh, accordion shutters up. A lot of people who live in coastal communities like this, especially in Broward County, they don't want to take any chances. Although there are no mandatory evacuations in Broward County, for those who might feel unsafe, three shelters have now been opened. It's not an evacuation. It's not a mandatory. It's for those people who feel uncomfortable being in their homes and they would prefer staying in a shelter. It's totally voluntary. This designated pet friendly spot at Everglades High, you can take your furry friends as long as you can take care of them. We are asking for anybody who has a dog or a cat, gerbil or anything like that for to please, to please bring a crate with them. Also a leash, uh, proof of rabies tags. We need their registration. We need all the paperwork because we need to know what animal we're, com we're coming in with. Private charities are helping too. Hey there, this is Father Bob. This is Father Bob, and at his soup kitchen in Oakland Park, he's Here been taking day. in the homeless, That's serving that. food, and providing shelter. Again, whipping winds in Pompano Beach, where we are. Father Bob is telling us that his soup kitchen is actually starting to fill up. We also got off the phone with Broward County officials. They tell us there is plenty of room at those three shelters that are around the county. Information on those, of course, is on our website, local10.com. We asked the county how long those shelters might be open. They say they don't know yet. They're going to wait until tomorrow morning. They're going to look at the forecast and make a decision based on that. Again, very windy here in Pompano Beach. Businesses, some of them are open, but Broward County officials, they don't want to take any chances as long as Dorian is this big stationary hurricane right off our coast. They want everybody to use a little bit of extra caution. We're in Pompano Beach. I'm Janine Stanwood, Local 10 News.